So today we have a very special guest on the show, as I mentioned earlier, from Springsdale, Arkansas, the team that presented USA in the first global competition. It's FDC Team 9879, Route Negative 1. First off, we were wondering if you could give us a short background about your team. Absolutely. So hi, everyone. My name is Abby Herrera, and um, I'm actually one of the founding members of our team. So as of this season, our team is actually comprised of 14 students in grades 7 through 12. And we're actually going into our fifth season as a team. And one thing I'd like to point out, our team has competed throughout our history in different regions like Oklahoma, Alabama, and Tennessee. But of course, Arkansas is our home. Um, so we're just very excited to be here with you today. All right. Okay. Now we want to get into some more recent events than your team history. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about last season and what it took to win the Inspire Award at Worlds, making you an FTC Hall of Fame team? Because that must have been pretty hard. <laughs> you want to go first, Bryant? Yeah. So um, I think something that really sets our team apart from a lot of other teams is how thorough we are in everything that we do and also and how much time we put into it so we spend about 15 hours a week i at meetings and whether that's doing community outreach doing stuff specifically for the robot writing in the notebook things like that and so we spend a lot of time on what we do and so i think that plays a pretty big part into our team's success yeah, um, I think another thing is, you know, Springdale, Arkansas, we have very competitive teams in our community as well. So when, when we first began, um, actually at our very first tournament, it was the Arkansas Championship in Mountain Home. And we didn't even know that you had to have a judging presentation. And our robot was also really bad. So uh, we've definitely learned since then. But I think we wouldn't have done it definitely without the amazing teams that are around us in our community. They've definitely challenged us. So, yeah. But we've grown a lot since that first year. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's and a ton of growth. And that's really great work you guys have done so far. Yeah, thank you so much. Also, I think something, just one thing that's kind of judging specific that we do is we also, with our notebook, um, so we have two notebooks, and one of them is completely handwritten, and that shows the story from day one of when we get the game all the way until our last competition, which for the past few, season has, few seasons has been Worlds. And so we spend a ton of time on that. And if any teams want to see some of the pages of our notebook on our website, um, ftc9879.weebly.com, we actually have a page. It's, um, just, it's called Inspire, and it has everything that we think we did to win the Inspire Award, and some of our notebook pages are in there too. And one of the other things, too, uh, First Global wasn't really the first time that our team has interacted with uh, other teams from around the world. So in a lot of the outreach that we do, you know, we try to promote FIRST and different FIRST programs uh, throughout our local, regional, and even international community. So we even have experience helping a rookie team from Australia, helping rookie FLL teams in Peru. Um, so we really do work hard to make our reach as international as possible, which is why I think it made FIRST Global such, um, it, it made it even more fun than it would have been if we hadn't talked to people from around the world before, so. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, so what were your, some of your challenges you had to overcome to reach where you are today, and how did you ever overcome those challenges? So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and talk about the first part. Definitely from my perspective, a lot of the kids on the team have actually never done uh, any FIRST programs before they joined Root Negative 1. So for example, before I joined, I had no experience with robotics whatsoever, and I started off as just purely outreach. But now I'm like the robotics engineering manager for our team. So wow. a lot of it, too, is we have a lot of student growth um, on our team, and we really try to promote different students working on different areas, challenging them, which I think is really good about our team. And I also like what Abby was talking about earlier, while um, our region and everywhere kind of around us is are the smaller regions, they're also very competitive, especially, especially in the judging room. So we had to work uh, really hard our first few seasons to kind of get up to that level that a lot of other teams were uh, playing at. And that was a, and that was a a big growth that we had, especially in our first few years. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. for sure. 
uh, but actually one of our coaches uh, uh, was actually on FRC Hall of Fame team bomb squad. So we definitely have some good help from some FRC alum, um, definitely. Wow, that's amazing. Do you yeah. guys have anything else you'd like to share about your journey? Um, really, you know, uh, we're really excited about our experience. And interestingly enough, uh, like when we won the world championship, you know, we didn't really get much like coverage for that. But I, what we're really excited about is that when it was announced that we were Team USA for First Global, it definitely put Springdale and Northwest Arkansas on the map. So we're definitely proud of that because usually Arkansas isn't really known for thriving in like the technology sector, right? Yeah. So we're very proud to be able to put our region and our state on the map for that. And uh, funny enough, when we went to the competition, you know, we had to do some geography lessons with other teams because they didn't know where Arkansas was. So we described it as between California and New York and just right above Texas. So well, it was definitely New York, fun. Texas was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live and independent.